As the search and rescue efforts continue in Miami, we're learning more about the condo that collapsed, including those who lived inside. Friends and family frantically waiting for answers about loved ones lost in a building collapse. Deborah Golan asking for prayers on Facebook for her friend Estelle Hidea, who hasn't responded to calls. She spoke with her on the phone just hours before. Also missing are six Paraguayans. Policía de Miami, sino que también estamos en... Including the first lady's sister, the sister's husband, and their three children. A statement from the foreign minister says diplomats are searching for them in all of Miami's hospitals. The Champlain Tower South were first built in 1981. Of the 130 units in the condo, about 80 were occupied by a mix of seasonal and year-round residents. The city commissioner in Surfside described a 40-year building recertification process as ongoing. She says an inspector was there yesterday. At least one resident made complaints about the impact of construction on a new building next door. The man says he noticed cracks on the pool deck. Surfside is a barrier island made up of 5,700 people, many of them snowbirds, Russian immigrants, and members of the Orthodox Jewish community. Tonight, at least one expert with Florida International University says the condo was sinking into the earth at an alarming rate through a process known as land subsidence. A study he conducted last year found subsidence occurred in localized patches at a rate of three millimeters per year. Florida's governor says an exact cause of the collapse may not be clear right away. I know that they are going to have engineers looking at this uh, to, to try to identify what, what happened and what was the problematic uh, uh, occurrence. And we've also learned staff at the Argentine consulate in Miami say at least nine of the people missing in the collapse are from Argentina. Representatives from Uruguay say three people from there are also missing along with four from Venezuela.